Hey collectors, Anthony from HashesNet here, and today we're taking a look at Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee Legacy Silver Streak. Now, previously a 35th anniversary Silver Streak was released in the War for Cybertron Siege series in his animated color scheme. This version of Silver Streak is sometimes known as Blue Streak due to his color matching his original toy. When we get back, we will take a look at this Deluxe Class figure. Okay, in front of you, on the left, you have Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee Legacy Silver Streak, part of the Generations line. And he's a deluxe class. And um, on the right is also a Silver Streak, the 35th Anniversary Siege version. And first off, uh, the thing that bothered me about the Cybertronian forms, first off, I, lo I love the card car forms, but uh, the alt modes. But uh, and now, second off, they look like they're walking on high heels. I never understood that. Like, why? Why are they walking? Like, look at this. He's on high heels. Anyway, um, I, I think maybe because of the way the, the foot is done and the way the back end's larger, maybe he, he looks taller, despite the fact that they're both deluxe figures. I mean, the wings on the doors are pretty much about the same, but there's just a little bit difference here thicker waist maybe I don't know anyway we're gonna put these guys aside take a quick look at the box and uh, just a typical buzzworthy bumblebee box nothing other than the the back and the image on the front that really makes it stand out of any other buzzworthy bumblebee box and uh, inside is the paper insert and uh, they don't hurt yourself paper and the instructions and just like with other things in the legacy line, there is no window. So keep an eye out. Um, I, when I went to buy this guy, I actually took my phone light and flashed it in there to make sure all the pieces were still in there. Uh, because you never know. Some people do weird things just to get something first or whatever. So you know, just, just keep an eye out if you buy something from one of the stores that's packaged like this. So here is Silver Streak. And then here is his Siege counterpart. Uh, not a lot of the same parts. Actually, the Siege version looks a little thinner on the thighs. Uh, he's a lot more clear plastic on the legs. Uh, maybe some similarities in the arm pieces to a point. And then the backs. There's a lot of open. And then, actually, um, there is this piece here that slides down to uh, add stability and fill in the gap. But uh, sometimes I forget to do it. And, uh, I mean, it doesn't really help very much. And uh, this version, of course, doesn't have that. And uh, I think the other plus side is the fact that the tire... I, I, I feel like the tire placement is just better on the other one. Because, I, I mean, these don't technically touch, do they? Well, let's see. Eh, I don't know. Uh, I, I like the color scheme of both. That's why I got both. I also am one of those types that calls this guy Blue Streak and this guy Silver Streak for obvious reasons. But uh, the purist will probably go along with the, uh, they're both Silver Streak. One's animated. And this is the toy version. This is the animated version. And uh, you can't convince them otherwise. Which is fine. That's fine. You know, your toy, you can do what you want with it. I just, uh, I grew up on a certain, uh, this is Blue Streak, this is Silver Streak. And that is what I have been raised with. So, uh, this guy uh, is just like the other line of Earthrise vehicle modes of the same, uh, I want to say Fair Ladies or, or Dotsons. I forget which is which at this point. But uh, general, I think Fair Lady may be Jazz. But they're all generally the same uh, Prowl and... and uh, Blue, oh, not blue smoke screen, uh, barricade. I don't know how many more others are there. You know, it comes with uh, a handgun, two shoulder mounted guns, and his transformation is actually not too far removed from the previous Cybertronian forms. And uh, there we go. Um, after you get the arms up and pull up the head, it should go over the. There we go. Okay. I don't know why it was being difficult. Weird. Because it doesn't even tab well into here. 
But I, I guess because it sat for a little while, it may have gotten used to it. I, I honestly don't know. I just, it's very weird that it decided that it was just going to be the time where it tabbed well in there. Anyway, <laughs> the arms, you got to adjust on a swivel to get the tires where you want them because they just there's a little tab here they'll snap into and uh, it's okay if the tires are properly lined up which um, there will be when we put the arms down later uh, the other thing was um, when I got this this piece here would not fold in so I have to kind of like hold this tab in to get it to go down here without causing any problems uh, just a reminder put those back up and <laughs> the the backside folding is interesting because you unlike those you, you really got to fold fold the legs into the vehicle and uh, then you clip them in and you see we're already pretty much there Sure, this clips in. Put the arms down, and the arms add kind of a stabilizing force. And you got to make sure that you have the tab here ready to go into the door tab here. The arms are straight. There's a couple of tabs on the side here. Okay, there we go. So then we'll decorate him. Now, I don't know about anybody else, but mine don't stay in very well, but at least in this case, it kind of does. Just, yeah. Okay, and that is Silver Streak, or what I call Blue Streak. And Tech, hmm, I was like, is it not sticking in there? Hey, the doors are closed, I guess, so I'll take the win. Uh, he looks pretty cool. I like the dark on headlights. The tinted glass uh, makes it a little bit harder to see the j j uh, junk inside, although this is a little annoying. I, I'm, I'm kind of like, I, I get it. You want it to look like mirrors and you don't want to do stickers or glass, I should say. Um, so I, I kind of get that. Um, rolls pretty well. So uh, let's see how he compares with his earlier version. Okay, so here are both Silver Streaks transformed. Uh, you can see some similarities in design. Obviously, a, a larger back tire. A uh, at least they painted the tail lights. Frankly, it's it's great when they do that type of extra work. And of course, this is a more sleeker design, as this is a classic car design. And uh, they kept. Uh, I, it's like in Cybertron, do they really need headlights? These are painted on. And these are. I want to say real, but they're technically plastic domes. Uh, Lazy Eyebrow does a video about how making these better. I don't know if it's specifically for this model or one of the other cars. Um, but uh, underneath, you can see the difference in design and how the the bots break down. That is, the legs are all packed into the back of these guys. It's just uh, the way the top bit is done is determines how the head placement goes. So obviously uh, he's more bunched into his top and he's kind of pushed down further. And uh, really all the difference there. Okay, so we look at both Silver Streaks and I I dig the color scheme for what I call Blue Streak. I think it's super neat. It reminds me of the toys when I was little. And I obviously also love the, the the dark colors of the classic 35th anniversary Siege Silver Streak. I, I, I sorry, I can't argue about them. I, I feel like they're separate characters, just, just the way my my head cannon was when I was little, and to this day I still like to believe that. Anyway, let me know what you thought about these figures. Uh, did you get any of them? Please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and remember to like and subscribe.